Hi guys, it's Mama. Okay, I'm so glad you tuned in to Hip Flippin' Mama today because today is Tuesday, August 3rd. This past Saturday, what was it, July 31st or something like that? July 30th? I was at. I'm just trying to gather everything. I was at the Chicago Nationals um, sports card, like their annual national event. Like, huge, right? And not only did Hip Flip and Daddy and I go, but we got to meet Anthony Pick. Yes, we did. We did. We got to meet Anthony. And I'm just going to show you guys what I got. All right. I spent way too much money. I should show you. I should show you what Hitler and Daddy got. Now I'll do that in another video. I'll do that in another video. Okay. Now, I purchased for a whole $5. And I know starting lineups aren't worth anything. But, I got this of the All-American Professional, or All-American Women's Professional Baseball League. Back in, like, the 50s. Was it the 50s? 40s? I think it was the 40s. Um, and this one is Dottie Kamen. Kamensh. Kamensh. And what's kind of cool, backstory, is I have got several official playing cards from several of these ladies that played. And a baseball bat signed by, what's warm in here, signed by a bunch of them. Um, and so I just thought I would put those around this. Once I take my pegboard down, I'll have a, an area for that. I thought that was kind of cool. I picked up, I paid $5 for this too. Um, this is a Dick Buckkiss Junior Seau. Double uh, starting lineup. You know I love Junior Seau. Junior Seau used to be a Miami Dolphin. However, um, you know he was he was Junior Seau killed himself some years ago, shot himself in the chest in the heart, and left a note specifically requesting that his brain be tested for CTE because he thought, you know, he felt like he was going crazy and he felt like he had it and he was hoping that by him leaving his brain for specific research, it would help other people in the future with CTE, which of course, all the research that's being done now, yes it will. So, you know, for the reason that I love uh, Mike Webster from the Pittsburgh um, Steelers is the same reason I love Junior Seau. They're both heroes to me and the fact that without Mike Webster from the Pittsburgh Steelers uh, he was the first diagnosed CTE case and so he'll always be I get goosebumps he'll always be a hero because of all the lives and all the safety measures that that he changed because without him you know the world wouldn't know about it and I don't know he's just he's just special to me for that reason so many lives are going to be saved um, and quality of life for players 
is is changed because in my opinion with the exception of rugby of course um i was just researching a gentleman that played rugby that he's got um a permanent disorder now oh i can't think of the name of it now i've been re i was reading about it all morning um because of the uh head trauma that he de demorphia or dis I can't think of it. Anyway, so I love my Junior Seau. I don't care what uniform he's wearing. I love my Junior Seau. And Dick Buttkiss is just cool. I mean, who doesn't love Dick Buttkiss? He's got that face, you know? So, I had those. And these, you guys, I paid about... Three fifty a piece for these because I bought in quantity, even though they say eight dollars. These are just really cool, and they're like laminate photos, and these are definitely going on my wall. So, hello. Look at that face. Look at that face. I love it. Mike Tyson, of course. This is, um, oh, this is the Vander Holyfield Lennox Lewis. <laughs> Along with the first. This is Jake LaMotta. No. Yeah, that's Jake LaMotta. Thought it was Rocky Marciano at first. Evander Holyfield. This one's got air bubbles in the lamination, but I didn't care. George Foreman. Aren't these cool? Jack Dempsey. Looks like he's doing a little lingerie pose, doesn't it? Yes, the sexy Jack Dempsey. <clears throat> my brother from another mother, Mike Tyson. I would be such good friends with Mike Tyson. He just doesn't know it yet. I don't... Is that Joe Lewis? I can't remember who that is. The name is not coming to me. Got some Rocky. Mike Tyson. Lennox Lewis. These are just so cool. Like, these don't even need to be framed or anything. This one's upside down. So, this is Tom Gibbons. I'm not familiar with Tom Gibbons. Um... But this is a, a signed Jack Dempsey right here. Well, signed Jack Gibbons, or Tom Gibbons too, but it's the Jack Dempsey signature that gets it for me. Those are actual signatures on that. Did Tom get this one? I don't remember picking this one. He might have thrown it in there. There's Rocky. Incredible. The difference in everything from then to now. There's a very young George Foreman and Muhammad Ali. Oh yeah, Tom picked this one out. Everybody knows who he is. And then I got these that are actual signatures that the guys I bought them from supposedly, supposedly 
got these signatures themselves. They're pages out of magazines. And they had this entire binder, right? It was like this thick. No kidding. And they wanted $1,200 for the whole thing. And I offered them $900. And they wouldn't take it. I don't know if I would have actually paid $900. But that's what I offered them. So, this is... Ray Mercer fighting Tommy the Duke Morrison. But look at that picture right there. There's Ray Mercer's autograph. But look at Tommy Morrison's face right there. You can get Tommy Morrison's signature, but it costs a lot more. So I couldn't get Tommy Morrison's signature, but that's okay. Just having these pictures of Ray Mercer beating him up. I mean, I liked Tommy Morrison. Don't get me wrong. I liked Tommy Morrison. I would love to get my hands... Oh, pardon. I would love to get my hands on some of those old um, posters and stuff like that. So we've got my man... Ray Boom Boom Mancini. This is definitely getting framed. These are all getting framed. I might trim this up a little bit. And definitely, um, it says God bless and Ray Boom Boom Mancini 318.94. Sorry. And then we have a horse's butt, you know. Horse's butt. No, that's not what I got. This is any true boxing fan, okay? And we could talk about these three fights from now until Christmas. Well, I could. But we've got Gotti Ward 3. All right. So we've got the back, back and forth. Arturo Gotti and Mickey Ward. This one, uh, Mickey wins by decision. Or the first one. That was what was so great about the first fight. Oh my goodness. If you want to see, I believe it was 15 rounds. If you want to see... A battle of the century. Go and watch Mickey Ward and Arturo Gotti. One. The very first one. Wow. It's like the real Rocky. Like Mickey Ward would not give up. And Arturo Gotti was like Ivan Drago. He is like steel. He will not give up. You know? I mean he just... Awesome. I love this one. I, I wish it were in color. But it's not. It probably would have been a lot more money if it were in color. Look at this Camaro. So, okay, I talk about... I talk about... Oh, sorry. I talk about... um. You know, like giving people credit, and I like to give people credit for things. And this particular one, I don't like sweaty pictures, but I'm sure this is just water. To John, best wishes, Chuck Wepner. Now, who is Chuck Wepner? Who can tell me? This is the cover. Who can tell me in the class today? Who Chuck Wepner is. Okay. Time up. Time's up. Chuck Wepner was fighting Muhammad Ali. And a Sylvester Stallone was in the audience watching it. Or he was watching. No, he wasn't watching it on TV. Was he watching it on TV? Was he in a bar? Was he there? 
I can't remember. You think I'd be able to remember, but um, this is the man that inspired the movie Rocky, Chuck Webner. He wept with a P. He would not give up. I mean, he was just like taking everything Ali had. Everything Ali would give. And he just would not give up. And Rocky, or Rocky, Sylvester Stallone went home and in three days he had the first manuscript for Rocky. Oh! I have been up since 3 o'clock this morning, and I have not had coffee. So, I've been up for 8 hours already without any coffee. And then he actually, not like a fool, but <laughs> he certainly learned. He gave Chuck Wepner credit for Rocky on a talk show. And in public, um, many times, like, Chuck, come here, Chuck, come here. Guys, this is the real Rocky. This is the real Rocky. And then Chuck Webner was like, you know, years later, people are like, you know what? You didn't make any money off this movie. This movie's about your life. What's going on, dude? Sue. So he sues, and Sylvester Stallone tries to fight it and say, no, he wasn't the inspiration. Not Sylvester Stallone's finest moment. But, um, anyway, he loses and he has to pay Chuck Wepner a certain amount of money. Andrew Galata. This guy, I wouldn't put him... Well, I guess at one time he was a top ten. But, when I think of, like, your all-time best boxers... I mean, Arturo Gotti was in that class for his weight class. Um, I wouldn't even put Mickey Ward in that class as one of your best boxers. He was a good boxer, but, I mean, you know, he had a lot of losses and things like that. But um, Andrew Galata was... He was a beast. He could be a beast, and he could be... Prey. I mean, yeah. He could be the the hunter or he could be the prey. It just depended on who he was fighting. I wouldn't put him in a class up with Tyson, even though he fought Tyson. Um, not very successfully. But um, he was a heavyweight. I enjoyed watching Andrew Galata fight back in the 90s. Okay. And so this, that's just boom, boom, down here. And uh, Art Aragon. I'm not familiar with him. But anyway, this, this page is a continuation of this page. Now, who can tell me in the class why this would be significant to me? Sugar Ray Leonard and Donnie Lalonde. This is significant. And unless you really know me and have watched like everything I do, you wouldn't know. But anyway, that's Donnie Lalonde's signature. This is the fight that got me into boxing. Because I was talking to my husband and I was like, I was running a cable company. Well, a portion of it. And we used to get these promotional posters and everything. And, and I had this poster up above my desk. And I was telling my husband about it. He's like, oh, yeah, Sugar Ray's going to win. And I'm like, wait a second. Donnie Lalana is like a foot taller than, than the other guy. How is he going to win? And my husband's like, oh, he's just going to win. He's just going to win. Donnie Lalonde is taller than Sugar Ray in this, I mean, much taller than Sugar Ray. They had Sugar Ray standing on something in this photo because Donnie Lalonde was much taller than this, okay? They just did that for the picture. Um, and in this fight, I watched 
a short black man devour a six foot two or six foot three, maybe he's even six foot four, white boy. And that is when I saw the art of boxing, the skill, the beauty, the athleticism, the footwork, exactly what it takes to be a boxer. And I guess for a first fight, Sugar Ray is definitely a boxer to watch. Because if it had been somebody else, I wouldn't have been able to watch an art form. Because Sugar Ray was just oil on canvas. Beautiful fighter. Okay. And so I got those. And then I got these and I... I opened one of the packages and then I remembered no I have to do a video so I I got these and here's the story behind these okay and I'm sure you guys probably all you men remember these from Sports Illustrated and stuff like that. Like this was, the, this one was the sports card collection. So I was looking at one card, just one, okay. And I will. I'm gonna sell every one that I don't. That's of a specific person that I don't keep. Like this will go with my Fran Tarkenton card. And my friend Tarkenton Sports Illustrated cover. I will sell all these together. Um, but I got packs of these. And I was looking at a uh, Pistol Pete Maravich. Who played in the 50s. Or 60s. Or was it 70s? I can't remember. The 60s and the 70s. Little short guy. Um... And they wanted 125 for it. And I was looking at it because I'm a huge Pistol Pete fan. He's like, you know, I got the whole I got the whole set. It's a real elderly man. I got the whole set over here. And I think this is the one that he's in, actually. Um, and all you gotta do is buy this. And I can't remember what this one was. I think he wanted a hundred. For the whole, the whole pack. And I'm like, yeah, I'll just pay 100 for the whole pack. And because uh, there were three or four other really good ones in there, boxing ones. And uh, yeah, none of the prices are on here. And he wanted $40 for every other pack. And... I talked him down to, I can't remember per pack. It ended up um, being $180. And you might be thinking, these are just little pieces of paper with, it, it doesn't matter. It They're a lot cheaper than what he was asking, but worth is in the eye of the beholder. Okay, so number one, I remember these. From when I was a kid. Number two. They're just awesomely cool. I'm sorry. They're just. They're cool. And when. And if I frame these. Which I think I'll frame them. Um, I'm going to frame them between two pieces of glass. Or plexiglass or something. because So I can flip the frame over and read the back. But this is the interesting part of this he didn't take debit cards or credit cards he didn't take paypal which i paypaled a lot of a lot of people for things i bought um he says i'll tell you what he puts out his hand he says um 
He goes, I'll take a check. And I said, I don't have a check with me. I said, I'm sorry. He goes, I'll tell you what. And we had stood there talking to him, my husband and I, for maybe 15, 20 minutes, could be maybe even longer. Because he, I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, he was an elderly man. He was like in his 90s. And he used to go and watch the fights with his uncle. His uncle used to take him to all the fights when he was a little boy. So he saw like Rocky Marciano fight and um, um, I'm ashamed of myself. I couldn't think of it either earlier either when I was looking at those pictures. Jake I want to say Lamar, but that's not it. Oh, my goodness. He is like LaMotta, Jake LaMotta. So one of the best boxers ever, and I can't think of his name. Jake LaMotta and Ali and everybody. What are you doing? Um, you know, he saw some of the greats fight when he was a kid and then of course as an adult and he just had boxing stuff that's all that he had he may have had a few other things where like every fifth booth had boxing they'd have a couple things this guy had mostly boxing I mean that was his love so I you know I spent some time at his booth um but I said I don't have a check and he's like I'll tell you what holds out his hand and he says send me one when you get home Go ahead and take them and send me one when you get home. And I was just like. And I said, well, well, sir, you can you could definitely trust me, but you don't know that. He says, no. He says, I know you'll send me a check. And we shook on it. And I said, never in my life did I think you could ever conduct business in this world with a handshake again. I come from the days where you could do that. Okay? And I never thought in a million years I stood there and I felt like I was in a different time because the fact that this man was going to hand me over this merchant, probably because he knows it's not worth anything. <laughs> Uh, well, he had it priced like it was worth something, but, um, and it's certainly worth something to me because I just think it's the bee's knees. I think that they are the coolest thing, like the coolest thing that I found. So whether anybody thinks they're worth anything, I love them and that is all that matters. So, um... Yeah, I brought these home, and then I sent him a check yesterday. So I made sure it went out with my packages yesterday. But look at that. Focus. Rocky Marciano. And then you flip it over. You get his stats or his awards and stuff like that. I just think these are, I love the recipe cards that are like this too. I have a closet full of them. So, I don't know. Something about these I just, I really like. So I got this pack. That pack I didn't pay much for. I think this is the pack that's got all the big, this has got Pistol Pete in it. Or no, this one has Pistol Pete in it, and um, it's got some gymnastics in it, and they don't tell you what's in there, but I'm pretty sure these came from Sports Illustrated. And then I got this pack. This is Champions. Oh, here's the Pistol Pete. So this is the $100 pack, because here's the Pistol Pete on the back right there, Pete Maravich. So, okay, because okay, when I was looking at that card, I told my husband, I said, 
I thought for sure they were thicker looking cards because these don't look like they're cardboard. They're flimsier, which is why they were cheaper. But these ones, well, you get the whole A through Z. So you can get the whole collection. Should I can probably sell those? No, these don't seem very thick either. I'm going to open this because that pistol P is right there on, on the bottom. Yeah, these are thin. I must have really been just intrigued. But there's my pistol Pete. Look at those little shorts. Look, he's got a wrapping for his groin. I just thought that was so interesting. I just love the little shorts from the old days. Larry Bird in his little shorts. Which I've got some. I didn't buy these at the Nationals. But, like, here's Joe Lewis starting lineup. Starting lineup's not worth anything, really, unless you love it and you're going to keep it forever, like I will. And there's Larry Bird. Now, they, I paid, I think I paid 8 or $9 for this, okay, on eBay. And they were asking, like, for this same starting lineup, like 100 bucks at one booth, and in another booth, they had a similar one. And I think they wanted 100 bucks for that one. Outrageous, but I love Larry Bird. If you know me, you know I love Larry Bird. There's another Joe Lewis. And I think this is another Joe Lewis. Nope. This is a Rocky Marciano. This is another Joe Lewis. Nope, this one's my hop. Don't fall. This is Muhammad Ali. And then I opened some because I got them like in quantity. And they're like down here. So this is Joe Lewis. I took them out of the package. Because the blister was uh, very yellow. Here's Sugar Ray. So, but yeah, there's Pistol Pete. Bobby Orr, Muhammad Ali, Jesse Owens, another hero of mine, Mark Spitz. So there's some really good cards in this one. I thought this was a really interesting card right here. Um, he had a loose one of this. And I just thought that was really interesting because you look at the weightlifters of today and they're all like, you know, three people wide and two people tall. And, you know, this is just a normal guy. You know, he's no Mr. Universe or anything like that. And technically the, the weight that he is holding, he's 132 pounds is not like a huge amount 434 pounds where they lift a lot more than that today and Johnny Unitas was in here there were some big names so I paid up for this Pele that was another one anybody that knows Pele what a legend I might keep him Jimmy Connors another legend Jets versus the Colts. I have no no love for that one. Tom Seaver, no love for him. Track and field. These are all track and field. Discus thrower. Fun fact about me, I did discus and shot put and track in high, high school. Came a quarter of an inch from breaking the record. Both my brothers had the record. So I felt it was just natural to go out and break the discus record. And I almost did it, but I didn't. So then I got 
this package to open and this package to open yet and I'll do that later because I'll do that later this is the slab I got from Anthony Thor and you know what's funny is and this is a nine mint nine and I'll do a video on these um, another time but this is Anthony's new company Pittsburgh P-I-C-K-B-U-R-G-H he's got a grading company now and this is the slab for this is the first round of slabs off of their machine and he gave me this so and you scan this little barcode right here and it brings up all your grading information all your grading scans all your information everything but Belle used to love Thor that's my granddaughter I haven't seen her in three years we my daughter just took off with her we don't know where they're at but anyway um, she has a doll called Thor baby and I keep it next to my bed and I've got pictures of her running down the driveway holding her Thor baby and everything so it uh, you know for him to hand us Thor um, that was special so okay some other things I bought I bought Lyle Alzado now why Lyle Alzado is so you know um, heroic to me is back in the 70s and 80s excuse me in the 90s it might have even been the early 2000s Lyle Alzado got cancer and passed away and he whittled down to absolutely nothing I mean a hundred pounds or 98 pounds this big and Lyle Alzado was huge um, because of all the steroids that he did and so to me it brought awareness to what steroids could do and I remember my husband was a bodybuilder back then massively into lifting weights he didn't compete or anything like that but he was big he was pretty big and I can remember him talking about guys at the gym and steroids and this and that and he never got into that even though he had a buddy that was big time into it and sold them he never got into it but he has always been an inspiration to me and I paid a whole 75 cents for this um but yeah definitely awesome he ran the 40 in 4.75 seconds that is so fast oh my goodness 40 yard dash in 4.75 seconds I'm just reading this I'm sorry I'll I'll stop all right my husband picked this up well I paid for it but my husband picked this up for our son Clay his birthday's coming up he loves Tiger Woods I paid exactly what this says $15 this is um, max smelling I'll see if I can get it to where and no I'm not taking it out I love these but they're so expensive these are cigarette cards there it is max smelling these are cigarette cards you get these in a pack of cigarettes okay they're very expensive and people want hundreds of dollars for specific ones okay 
And these were back in the 20s and 30s and and things like this. This <laughs> Max Smelling fought in the 30s. So and I'm trying to think who the big fight he fought was. Started with a W. I can't think of it right now. I'm having terrible brain fog from my fibromyalgia. I'm sorry, guys. But I love this. I'm going to frame it. I might even leave the $15 sticker on it. I don't care. Love that. Love me some of that. What is this? Oh, this is uh, the lunch that Hip Flippin' Daddy and I and Anthony went on. That was quite a lunch. Hip Flippin' Daddy and I shared a 30 ounce beer. This is the guy that trusted me. Tickin' Tickin' Nick. Terry Nels. Alright, so I got this card. And I did not pay the price that's on here. But I jewed everybody down except for that that cigarette one. Because that was a that was a good price. James J. Braddock. Has anybody ever heard of or watched? The movie called Cinderella Man with Renee Zellweger and um, Russell Crowe. He fought in the 30s too. That was kind of like a rocky thing too. He was an, a big underdog and he won the championship against Max Bear and big deal. And I got this really cool card. I didn't pay $30 for it. But Mike Tyson. This is like a real thick like foam board card. This is um Victorious series. Never heard of it. Never seen it. Here's another one. By Ringside. In my corner. I didn't even read that part. Another thick card of Mike Tyson. I didn't pay those amounts. This is a really cool. The only thing I paid face value for was the Lyle L. Zato because it was 75 cents and the, um, the cigarette card. That was that with um, Max Smelling. But here's a really cool picture of Jack Johnson. I mean, this is a more recent, this is a 90s card, um, maybe 2000s card, but it's just a nice picture of him. I like the card. I bought it. And then Tommy Hearns. I think I got this for 8 or $9. Tommy the Hitman Hearns. And then I got these, and I paid a set amount for a set. Here's Arturo Gado, Gadoy. God, I pronounce it Gadi, but Arturo Gadoy, Gadoy. This is really cool. It's an older card. I can't remember what you call this kind of card. I didn't pay 15 for it, but I think I paid 10. But this is a cool card. Very, very cool card. I I do know of that gentleman. I've read about him. I've never seen him fight, but I am familiar with him. So these are just photos. Um this Sunny Liston and they come in these nice cases laminate real thick laminate so that's Sunny Liston no he didn't die of a drug overdose he was murdered this is on the outside this is on the case not on the card this is Rocky Marciano 
I got this for a good price because there's a bend. I don't think you can see it, but there's a bend right here. Maybe from the back you can see it. Yeah, right there. And this is uh, Jake LaMotta just on the road with his family. and I didn't care for that one, but he threw it in. Rocky Marciano. And I think that's Joe Lewis. Jake LaMotta. It's real hard to tell Jake LaMotta and Rocky Marciano apart, except the width of their nose. That's how I tell them apart. I just, I don't... And you know, I could be calling Jake LaMotta Rocky and Rocky Jake LaMotta. I don't know. I get them confused all the time. Here's a Rocky Marciano and Joe Lewis. After the fight. Jake LaMotta. I know this one's Jake LaMotta. Rocky Marciano. And I don't know who that guy is. No clue. I gotta do some research. See if I can find out who he is. And then Jake LaMotta. A young Jake LaMotta. And guys, that is what I got. How much did I spend? Too damn much. Too damn much. I'll tell you that. What was the single most expensive thing I bought? was definitely that one package of cards just to get that Pistol Pete that was a hundred dollars did I overspend most probably but that's alright Hip Flippin' Daddy bought a 1972 um, the perfect season for the Miami Dolphins. He got the helmet with about 98% of the signatures. Anybody that had passed away pre-2014 is not on that helmet. Um, but yeah, he's got most of the signatures. And he's got even a signature that's not even on the lineup because he was injured. But that took me some research to figure out who that was. Oh, excuse me. All right. Apparently, I need to go take a nap. But I have to get my mail out before porch pickup comes because FedEx just came. And it's probably more boxing memorabilia that I got because, you know, like I got, I'll do a separate video. And I got this magazine just because it had Donnie Lalonde and Sugar Ray on it. Well, it's got Mike Tyson on it. That's a, a bonus. But um, this is Ali and Frazier. 12 inch. And I have a 12 inch of Muhammad Ali coming too. These aren't, I didn't buy those at the, at the thing. But I'll do a whole separate, I'll do a whole separate on that later look at that Mike Tyson custom auto I didn't get this at the the expo I got that on eBay okay guys I'm gonna go and that is my little haul of what I got at the national I told you I'm having brain fog today all right guys love you Subscribe, like, comment, question, complain, whatever you want to do. I will catch you later. Bye, guys. Mwah.